So we had this terrorist think tank. We we lost it when it comes to uh, to Al Qaeda core, what people now refer to as core Al Qaeda. But it's one of the reasons why we were so successful at at taking down a lot of core Al Qaeda. Now we face this new danger from ISIS, uh, which is an offshoot of Al Qaeda, um, and and we don't have. I mean, we're not capturing or, or detaining anybody. I mean, how, how hampered are we in the fight against ISIS because we don't have this capability? Well, you can't know why something happens by looking at a photograph. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll give you a real example. Um, when Nashiri was captured, he had a phone He's book. the coal bomber, right? Right, the coal bomber. He had a phone book on him. Mm -hmm. And in the phone book, he had names and amounts of money, right? I could have that phone book. And I could look at that and I could see the name and the amount of money, but I wouldn't know what was going on in his mind, that what he had paid them for. I wouldn't know who those people were, what plots they were working on. You have to question the person. There has to be some sort of human intelligence involved, involved in the thing in order to know the motives. Uh, in a military situation, you may see tanks amassed on the border, but you don't know whether that's a threat, whether they're trying to be deceptive and think you're going to attack from this way, but you're really coming in the other way. You have to talk to a human being to get that information, to know what's in their mind and to know what's behind what their intentions are with what you're seeing on the surface, because it doesn't always reflect um, what the person plans to do. So the, the problem we have is, is that there are different forms of human intelligence. There's signals intelligence where we can listen in on their conversations. We can intercept their communications. Uh, we we could have assets that are that are that are, we deploy who send us information. But the only interactive uh, form of human intelligence is interrogation. So like the only well, you've got debriefing. Yeah, of, of but I mean I, I mean having a t uh, questioning uh, people that you really inter unlike armies, navies, and air forces where you can see them from the sky. When it's 19 guys with box cutters. The only way you get the terrorist to displ stop a terrorist attack is get the terrorist to tell you what well, their plans either voluntarily are. as, you yeah. know, if you got somebody in the thing or yeah. if you capture somebody, get them to tell you. Yeah. So we really need to start capturing people again. I think this is just Jim speaking. I don't speak yeah. for anybody but me. Mm -hmm. I think we need some sort of an, an intelligence oriented uh, uh, detention and interrogation program. Because uh, right now we're droning them all. I mean, dead terrorists can't tell you their plans. Is, is the, have we gone too far with drones? I don't think we've gone too far with drones. I'm 100% behind droning as many of them as you can. I'm bothered by the fact that we, we kill granny and the, ba and the grandbabes as well, you know. Um, there's a lot of collateral damage. But wouldn't it be better to get them alive yeah, than to drone them? Yeah, it would be better. And it would be, I think, in the long run, more moral. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, we have, a, we have a difficulty with grabbing. Right now it's illegal to take Khalid Sheikh Mohammed by the collar and just hold him by the collar, right? We don't have a problem with dropping a Hellfire missile on a family picnic or something, you know, but that's illegal. 